you already know how to calculate the coordinates of a point which divides the line joining the coordinates of other two points in the ratio m and n using this formula where x coordinate will be mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n and y coordinate will be my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. Now this is actually called internal division. So this is the section formula for internal division. Now there may be a case where we, we know the distance between the stadium and the tower and the white building and the tower where the tower lies outside the white buildings. That is the C lies external to this line AB. So this is called external division. Now in this case, how can we find out the coordinates of X and Y? That is C. Let's see. Now in the same manner, we have constructed horizontal and vertical perpendiculars from A, B and C towards the X axis. Now, can you tell me the coordinates of R, Q and P? What, is, what are the coordinates of R? Well, you can see it has the same X coordinate as C and the same Y coordinate as B. What about Q? Same X coordinate as C and same Y coordinate as A, Y1. In the same way, P, it has the same X coordinate as B and same Y coordinate as A. Now, removing the images, we see if we take into consideration these two triangles, where first triangle is A, B, P, which is the shaded triangle. And the other triangle A, C and Q which has the green border. Now if you consider these two triangles again, you will see that the angle APB which is this is equal to angle AQC. Angle APB is equal to angle AQC. Why? Because these two are parallel lines and AQ acting as transversals, you can see that P angle APB and angle AQC is acting as corresponding angles. So they are equal. Now one more thing you can see that angle A is common in both the triangles. So you can say that angle BAP is equal to angle C A Q because this is actually the same angle. So because of the angle angle axiom we can say that triangle A P B and triangle A C Q are similar. Now can you tell me the values of BP, AP, CQ and AQ using coordinates? What is the value of BP? Well, BP you can see they have the same X coordinates. So we will subtract the Y coordinates, Y2 minus Y1. What about AP? This is A and this is P. They have the same Y coordinates. So we will subtract the x coordinates x2 minus x1 now what about cq well this is c and this is q so they have the same x coordinates so we'll subtract the y coordinates so y minus y1 what about aq well this is a and this is q so they have the same y coordinates. So what we will do? We will subtract the x coordinates. So let's subtract it as x minus x1. 
So now we have already proved that triangle APB and triangle ACQ are similar. So due to the similarity of these triangles, you can say that AB by AC, that is AB by AC is equal to AP by AQ which is again equal to BP that is BP by CQ. Okay. Now let's substitute the values of these sides with the coordinates or the, with the values which we have already calculated from the graphs. So instead of AB, what we can write? We have to write AB, that is this part. Now we know that this whole part is M and this part is N. So what will be this part? M minus N. So we can write AB as M minus N. And AC as what? AC. C is M. Now what is AP? AP we can directly write it from here. X2 minus X1. And what is AQ? X minus X1. Now in the same way we can write is equal to BP from here. Y2 minus Y1 by CQ which is Y minus Y1. So it will look something like this where you have the sides substituted with the values from graphs or coordinates. Now let's look into this one by one. Now let's cross multiply this part. So M minus N by M is equal to x2 minus x1 by x minus x1. M minus N x minus x1 is equal to M of x2 minus x1. Or Mx minus Nx minus Mx1 plus nx1 will give me mx2 minus mx1. Now I can cancel these both. Then what will I get? We'll calculate taking x common from here we'll get m minus n. This is equal to mx2 minus nx1 or Finally, I'll get x is equal to mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n. So this is what I get. x is mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n. So you can see there is only this difference of the signs. When we were doing the section formula internally, we were using positive signs in those places. And now we are doing section formula externally. So we are changing the positive signs into negative. Now let's do this part. M minus N by M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 by Y minus Y. So we can calculate this. M Y minus M Y1 minus N Y plus ny1 is equal to my2 minus my1. Now I can cancel this from both the places. Now taking y common, I get m minus n, my2, and taking it to that side, or y coordinate can be calculated with my2 minus n y1 whole divided by this m minus n. So this is how I get the y coordinate where y coordinate is m y2 minus n y1 by m minus n. 
So this is how we have derived the section formula for the external division, where a point which divides the line AB into m is to n in the ratio m is to n externally, then we will use the formula this. So what was the difference between internal division and external division? In internal division, this sign was positive as well as this sign was positive. Even in here, this and this sign was positive. And when we are doing it externally, the same formula we use by changing the signs into negative. So, what do we learn today? We have learned that whenever a point C divides the line joining AB externally in the ratio M is to N, then the coordinates of C are X such that x is equal to mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n and y is equal to m y2 minus n y1 by m minus n. So this is how we do external division using section formula.